What's up guys, super excited for today's video because the title and thumbnail is not clickbait. We are going new truck shopping today. We're gonna ride out to the dealerships, see if we can find something on the lot. And if we can't, we're gonna go ahead and custom order one. All right guys, we are in Bessemer, Alabama. The Ford dealership is right there. Chevy dealership is right there. And over here is Ram, which we're gonna go to Ram first, then Chevy, then Ford. And then on the way back home, we're gonna go buy Toyota. And I think that's it. Y'all know this channel has got a lot of older trucks, which I love. My most, my newest currently is 12 years old. But this channel basically started with new trucks. My 2018 Silverado, my 21 Trail Boss, my 22 Sierra, my 22 F-150. A lot of my content is on new trucks, which a lot of y'all have. And so it's time for a new one. Now there's a lot of new models coming out for the 2024 year. Hopefully all the dealerships actually have one in. If not, and we really, really want one, we're gonna end up ordering one, which obviously is gonna take the longest time, but it'll be worth waiting because we'll get exactly what we want. Now, I won't lie, Ram is lowest on my list. But a lot of y'all are always commenting saying I need a Ram and I know the insides are amazing. I think this is the last year of the Hemi, which is when I would want to get one, uh, you know, my last shot. So we're going here first. We're going to check it out, see what uh, see what they offer, compare prices of everything. And y'all definitely comment down below. Let, let me know what y'all would like to see on the channel. Holy crap at all the Chargers and Challengers. There's literally like 50 of them right here. Looks like some classics over there. And then here's all the new ones. Now, what color would we even think about going on the Ram? White looks good. The gray looks good. Got a salesman coming out here. So I'm going to talk to him real quick. And then I'll catch up with y'all with whatever I find that I think might be up our alley. Got the big panoramic. Got this awesome looking hood. Kind of TRX kind of style. This is the Hemi with the E-Torque. Which I guess they just put E-Torque on everything. But if it doesn't say Hemi, then it's a V6 with the E-Torque. But laramie got the nice interior the big screen obviously white will treat you right with the paint this is sharp all color matched already honestly a little bit too overdone <laughs> what are you going to do to the outside there's not a lot left to make this thing finished i think the universe might be trying to tell me something because that truck down there that i wanted to test drive has got a completely dead battery now dodge has always been notorious for electrical problems but that's been in the older stuff so i'm assuming someone just left something on that they shouldn't have either way he's gonna go grab the keys to this which is the bighorn i think well she started like i said this one always smells good much lower trim He's running in there to get a gas stamp, I think he called it, because this thing is pretty much empty. So we're gonna have to run by the gas station, get a little bit, but feels pretty freaking good in here. The dash seems massive. The back seat is huge, really, really awesome. Uh, this is the lower trim, like I said, with cloth seats and everything, smaller screen, but pretty freaking nice in here. The knob is a weird thing to get used to. Yeah, you know, my first truck is an 18. And that was the first adjustment I had to make. Every time I got in, I was reaching for that shift lever. <laughs> right. How'd you like your 21 truck? I, I loved it. I had the Hemi uh, 570, took it right here. And uh, I enjoyed it. What you heard about the Ram comparing it to the other vehicles out there? What you heard about the Ram? Well, I, I've never been a real big Ram guy, but I always have people in the comments saying that I need to try out a Ram. And so I know this is the last year of the Hemi, which is probably gonna be my last kind of desire to get one. Turn right here. Yes. So wanted to give everything a fair shot before I pulled the trigger on something. Gotcha. But I've always liked, I mean, I like this body style. I know the, the other one that we were looking at, that interior is extremely nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the Laramie. Yeah. This is the big horn version of it and everything, but same powertrain. Right. My thing I like about it, the truck is so quiet, so smooth. It is very quiet. Yeah, I drove uh, the new Lightning a couple weeks ago, and that that was a bizarre, bizarre experience. Because it's like freakishly quiet, where you hear things outside that seem louder because it's so quiet. <laughs> no, it's totally electric, isn't it? Yeah, it's fully electric. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. What 
it is about Ram, I've never just, I've never looked at one and been like, I gotta have that one. Mm -hmm. But they've always been nice, inside, the outside, I've always liked them. As well, that is it for Ram. We'll go over pricing later. I did get a printout of the first truck that we were supposed to drive that had the dead battery. Either way, Chevy's up next. All right, boys, we're here at Chevrolet. Now, if I'm getting a Chevy, it's gonna have to be a 6.2, just flat out, point blank, period. Y'all know I had the 21 Trail Boss, but I really have grown to like these front ends. These are the RSTs, which I would be totally happy with. Could go with another Trail Boss, but preferably RST. And like I said, gotta be 6.2. I made my way down to the more premium trucks. Got a bunch of Trail Bosses, which do look cool. This is gonna be a Duramax. And then this might be a 6.2. I don't know, do they still put the 6.2 badges on the hood? I don't know, let's check and see. Get us a little price idea going. 58,000, it's definitely gonna be a 5.3. Yeah, 5.3. Of course, these do have the big new screens, like my uh, 22 Sierra had. Come on, y'all ain't got one 6.2 here? Really? Really, this is where I tried to buy um, a truck last time before my Trail Boss, and they had no 6.2s. So I ended up going to another dealership. So it looks like they don't have a 6.2 as well. Dadgummit, maybe they'll let us drive the Duramax. So I've never driven the little Duramax. I think that's what we're gonna need to shoot for. So instead of discounts, here's this dealership has markups on everything. 58.6 from 56.8. For some three years of exterior protection with warranty, rental car, yellowing of headlights, brake dust staining, insect damage, including love bugs, bird dropping, salt, industrial fallout. Come on, guys. Y'all know I'm partial to the full size, but the new Colorados look pretty freaking sweet to me. They're like a baby trail boss, which is awesome. And the price is 35 grand from 34, so a thousand dollar markup. This is gonna be a lower trim, but still, man, the body lines, big bulky fenders. This thing's pretty tough, I ain't gonna lie. Silent. Absolutely silent. You know in all your new vehicles, they, the engine shuts down when you come to a complete stop, which mm -hmm. supposedly saves gas. I don't like it, so on this one, you can just cut it off. There you go. Hey, I'm the same way. Yeah, I just cut it off. It don't, it don't do anything. It don't, it don't save really that. <laughs> I've never driven one, but been interested in them. On the 3.0? Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be the best diesel in this class. Yeah. I got one guy, I sold to him, and he's a hermit. I'm going to actually have to check the gas mileage down. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to my house in Tuscaloosa. And uh, if it comes anywhere near what my friend says, get on by. So we got back, it was averaging like 31 miles to the gallon. So wow. Got, yeah, that's strong, man. <laughs> that's good. So you've been to the rim, the Dodge place already? Yeah, I just left there. Yeah. Then you leave here, you go over to Ford. Going to Ford. Mm -hmm. And then I might might hit a Toyota place on the way mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. But if God was coming down here right now, I said, Herman, you can't have both. You can have a truck or a car. I had to take the truck off. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm a truck fanatic. Yeah, they do it all. <coughs> I mean, they, not only that, they are, not only are they flat, but they look good. Oh, they yeah. got looks on them too now. Yep. They're very, very attractive. I mean, shucks. Look at the inside of this truck. Mm -hmm. Look at the outside of this truck. definitely hear that diesel up there it's kind of weird well first thing you got to get to you if you're not used to a diesel you got to be very careful I mean it, it'll grow on you not to put gas into a diesel tank right yeah I've got I've got a diesel myself as well when a guy sold a diesel about a month ago we went to fill it up with gasoline oh man they run it Bought back to this year, we, it took us about eight hours to get it all ran back out. They got it, we got some, some solution. We run through the tank and get it all out. But hell, yeah, diesels have come along. When I first got this business, they were, they smoked everywhere, noisy. <laughs> and you couldn't even stop. You said, yeah, what they call glow plugs on them. Uh -huh. You have to get out here and, and, and let it and just turn the switch on for 30 seconds, then crank it up. But all oh, that's old fashioned now. That, they don't even It's just 
weird hearing that noise in this truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, which truck you got? You said it's got a diesel in it. I've got a 07 Classic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one of the old loud ones. <laughs> well, I, I had I had 06. It was had that funny grill on the front end, but it was a 5.3. Oh, okay. So when you go out to the different manufacturer, where you just basically drive them. Yeah, just driving them, see, seeing what, and then and then getting a getting an out the door price on whichever okay. truck, and uh, I got you. Then do the comparison and see which one to pick. What is the what is the F, what is the F one fifth version of this? What trim is it? Uh, probably gonna be a Lariat. A Lariat, okay. Mm -hmm. They got and on the door side is the Laramie. Laramie, yeah. Yeah, so it'll be a Lariat. Before I get them confused sometimes. Yeah. Pulling out of Chevrolet. Got our final price. That was a sweet truck. The Duramax was bizarre and awesome. But now it's time to head over to Ford. All right, here we are at Ford. They've got a crap ton of trucks. Holy crap. All these are 23s though. No 24 spotted yet, but I'm gonna go walk the lot, see what I can find. Well, this is pretty wild. These are all 2023 trucks and we're three months into 2024. I don't know if this is a good thing for people coming to buy trucks or if that's a scary thing that Ford is not selling. This is a really big dealership. Oh my gosh, I need this. Okay, getting distracted. Grab a blue Mustang, 5.0, has my heart. I need it. 62 bones, holy crap. What the heck is going on? Why is there this many previous generation trucks here? Oh, that's why. 86.5, which is power boost. Limited, that's why. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, these are all brand new 2023s. From Laramie's, I mean, Limited, XL, XLT's, Platinum. Let's go look at this Platinum because it looks freaking awesome. I don't know how I feel about the black versus the chrome on the Limited. This is wild though. No sticker, no sticky. What's this one? Uh, 75 shoot this thing is nasty though so this truck right here is literally my blue one exactly stx 50 full wheel drive and on the 23s you still have the old interior on the lower trims so you're your low trims on the 24 actually get the big screens and digital dash, which is baller. I had a full center console, but yeah, other than that, it was wild though. All right, I guess we're gonna walk up top, see if we can find some new trucks up there. Maybe they got those on showcase or something because the 24s are just hitting lots. All right, we got a bunch of copyright crap blasting, so I'm gonna keep yapping, but here is a 2024 single cab. It's like 10 foot off the ground. That is insane how tall this is. That's like a foot from the tire to the fender. XL, but as you see, big screen, digital cluster. This one's got vinyl. Check out the new front end. Very controversial swap up. Got the real bright Ford emblem. It's a little beast right here, 5.0. Let's just price it out. 43.5. Four by four, short bed, 5.0. Definitely don't think I would get the vinyl seats, but here's your four wheel drive Mustang. 2024. I don't see any other. This isn't, I think this is already sold actually. It's not in their standard lot. Dude, do we go full race truck? Order up one of these bad boys? Or do we try out the crew cap? Well, we've already had the crew cap. Dude, this might be it if I was going forward. I guarantee you this thing is freaking fast as crap. And they have the Whipple, the Roush, VMP. I like the new tail lights. Dude. This would be a freaking awesome truck on the channel. I know a lot of people are doing the single cab builds, but we already got a single cab and it could be our super fast truck. Holy crap, at the bad fitment on the tail lights. Yeah, that's freaking sweet. I got a bunch of other stuff. I guess I'm not even gonna test drive anything, honestly. Got a bunch of lightnings. There's a matte black one. 
good looking trimmer, I think, right here. I guess I'm not gonna test drive anything at Ford, for one, because no one's come out and talked to me. Ram's the only one that even sent anybody out to talk to me, which everybody's been really nice so far, but I did have to go inside and flag down the guy from Chevrolet. And that's the only 24 they had back there. And since it's sold, they're definitely not gonna let me test drive it. So I guess we're just gonna slide out of here and let that be, let that be a day of it. So I guess I'm gonna look up online what I can actually get a 24 F-150 for and we'll compare it to the prices that we got on the Ram and the Chevy. And I'll catch back up with y'all at the farm and we'll go over that. Just for comparison between the other two trucks, this is a Lariat. So this is probably what would be a direct comparison. 69999 now that's given they don't have any discounts which they probably do i would assume with the inventory of this large but who knows they might not pretty sweet lowered single cab he didn't did not look happy about me waving him on sorry bro just wanted to see it jeez Just made it back home before we get into the prices let's go ahead and just talk about my experience driving the trucks so starting off with the ram extremely extremely comfortable definitely the smoothest driving truck that i drove today uh, on the highway on the back streets whatever suspension is just insanely smooth on that thing no harsh bounces or anything like that uh, performance it felt fine i mean nothing crazy it's 5.7 e-torque which i think e-torque is standard on all of the 24 models uh, it sounded really good, of course, the Hemi, but you know, the eight speed is super smooth. So like the gear shift, you barely even feel, but it's not very aggressive. It's not like, dude, we're freaking, we're in a quick truck, nothing like that. Um, so overall I liked it. I wish I could have driven the Laramie, which is what we got the price on because that truck is far nicer on the inside. But even the one that I drove was plenty nice for me on the inside. Aside from kind of the screen, just going into the truck market of 2024 where we have all these crazy, awesome, nice screens, that one is kind of a letdown. But aside from that, interior-wise, didn't mind the cloth seats, center console, super nice, tons of stuff. Overall, really liked the truck. So then jump into the Chevrolet. So first time driving the Duramax, which I'm glad that I got to do. Sounded awesome and bizarre at the same time because I've just never been in a 1500 diesel had some good engine noise absolutely silent exhaust which is a huge detriment to the modern diesel and one of the main reasons why i wouldn't want to get one it didn't feel as good as the ram as far as like getting on it and stuff but it, it had some nice torque low down and got out of its own way fine uh, the 10 speed in the gm trucks are not sporty tuned if that makes sense so then next we'll say ford i'm just going to compare it to my remembered thoughts on my 21 f-150 that was um stock when i got it uh that truck extremely impressive the 5.0 which scream sounded amazing and the 10 speed from ford is much more sporty feeling from the factory which is a really good feel uh, you feel like you kind of already have a tuned truck from the factory if you go ford versus gm even my 6.2 trail boss which if you got on it felt awesome freaking ripped uh, was pretty much the exact same quickness as the 5 liter F-150, but normal driving and stuff, the Ford tuning on the transmission feels a lot better. With that said, let's jump into pricing. Once again, starting with Ram. Holy crap. All right. Market value selling price, $78,120. Discount, $2,500. Rebate, $1,000. Adjusted price, $74,620. Uh, taxable fees estimated $678 tax $2,861 non-tax fees $16.50 coming out to a balance of $78,176 which blows my socks off that's 20 grand nearly more than any other new truck that I've purchased and my 21 trail boss and my 22 Sierra were extremely nice trucks like I said way less money all right let's go to the silverado so uh msrp sixty seven thousand. discount four thousand dollars selling price sixty three thousand uh, government fees sixteen fifty dock fees nine nine five uh 
tax, $2,399. Rebates, $2,500. Coming in at a grand total of $63,911. So far cheaper than the Ram. But holy crap, $63,000. $64, now just for reference, and I get it, the whole day, the glory days of getting big discounts on trucks is, I guess, over, which sucks because that was the main reason why I went with GM in the beginning because they had such good prices on their trucks. You just couldn't beat it. So my 2018 Silverado, I bought it in December of 2017 for $37,000 and change. Will be the best new truck for the money that I've ever bought and will ever buy. Um... 21 Trail Boss, I think I got $12,000 off MSRP on it, buying it new. It was the 6.2 truck, loved it to death. I uh, think I paid $54,000 for it. Then my 22 Sierra I ordered, it was a 5.3 Max Trailer and Package SLT truck, super nice, had everything that the RST did that we looked at today, plus sunroof and some other things. Uh, it was $58,000. I paid sticker on it, which, like I said, I ordered it. And then my 21 F-150 that I bought used in 23, 22, uh, I got it for, I think, 43 grand. So it was a much lower trim than the other trucks. But uh, still, if you saw the prices of the Fords we saw today, man, you're losing your tail when you buy one of them new. Now, I'm not going to get one of the 23 F-150s because it's the same truck as my 21. Uh, but that 24 F-150 single cab that we saw today was, what, $43,000? That's almost half the price, not quite, but almost half the price of the freaking Ram. Now, obviously, you don't get the super nice interior. Um, the Ram was way nicer, door panels, seats, all that kind of stuff. But you do on the 24s get the digital dash and the big screen, and that's a lot cheaper. I haven't had a truck payment in half a year or more. That's been nice. Not looking to pick up a thousand dollar a month payment, uh, and plus the Ram. I, honestly, I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I think Rams are like you buy it to just drive it. You don't do anything to them. Honestly, there's just. I don't know. They're nice. They're good driving. They. They're, they're, they're good trucks. Just not for me. I don't think. So I guess that leaves us with the Silverado or an F-150 because we're not doing GMC. They're the exact same truck as my 22. And I didn't even stop by Toyota because I don't want a Tundra, let's be honest. I like the way they look. I'm sure they perform good, but V6, sorry. So I'm going to get online. I'm going to look at the trucks. I'm going to read y'all's comments and I'm going to order something because uh, like I said, this channel, we we have a ton of fun with the older trucks and I love them, but we got to have some new truck content for those that are here for that because that's a big part of my channel has been in the past so uh if i got a silverado i'd want an rst 62 the duramax was cool but eh, silent truck not great performance yes great mpg great towing i'm sure have to get the 62 dude y'all comment down below silverado f-150 regular cab crew cab leaning towards regular cab for sure if we went f-150 i would love a new silverado but i think the f1 i'm just thinking for the money what's going to bring the most entertainment and fun to me and y'all i'm leaning towards the f-150 y'all comment down below and let me know though so hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did leave a like comment let me know subscribe if you're new ring the bell notification and with that said i'll give y'all an update whenever i have one